In this video, I'll talk about accessing a MySQL database from uh, Visual C++. So for that, as you can see in the figure, we need an interface. So that can be um, uh, used to connect C++ program with the database. Okay. So uh, to do that, we need actually three things, which is a database server and the, the program and the compiler to run the program and we need the connector okay so we'll, we'll uh, provide or we'll access this connector uh, as uh, from the C uh, mysql server source distribution okay so let's see the steps we'll follow uh, first we need the visual studio because uh, this uh, video is especially for accessing the mysql database from visual studio c++ console program so uh, I believe most of you already have a uh, Visual Studio, but if you don't have and you have, if you're a student, then you might have access to uh, MySQL, uh, sorry, Visual Studio community version from your university email, using your university email address. Okay, so uh, go ahead to this link, and if you to go to this link, you'll be asked to create a profile using your university email address. Then, if you uh, have access the email address will be verified against uh, uh, by the proper authority then if your email is verified then you can access uh, the uh, different software as you can see in, in, in my skin i have the access to the um, uh, to the different softwares as a student okay so for example if you can see i, I can download visual studio community version from here okay so uh, having in having the uh, Visual Studio downloaded, uh, now you can go ahead and download a Jam server uh, and install that because we'll use MySQL server from uh, Jam server. Okay, so um, I'll not discuss about how to create database uh, in uh, in MySQL in Jam server because that is a different part. So I'm assuming that you already have a database created. So your jam server is running uh, like i can show you here so i have jam installed so like this so you can just oh, it's taking time so as you can see uh nothing is running right now so let's start the apache servers to access the php my admin to access the database from the browser and also run the mysql server so the mysql server is running on jam on the port number 330 this is default port and if i go to localhost php my admin then I can access the database. As you can see, in my MySQL server, I have few databases. These are some default databases, and this is the database I created. And I have only one table. Okay. And let's see some records I already have three times from from the program. Okay. So let's go back to the steps. So I'm considering you already have the Jam server running, uh, which is running actually Apache and MySQL. You have created some database, and you have some tables in that and you have some records and there's some tables and there's some databases okay so i'm not discussing this here now as you can see here we have uh, already have a code c++ program and we have the visual studio to uh, edit or you know build or run the program okay so this part is done and also this part is done we have the database server running okay so now we need the interface okay so what we'll use uh, actually we'll use uh, uh, the libraries provided under the source code source distribution of the mysql server okay so uh, here in visual studio we'll actually create a, um, a console program which is uh, in 32 bit platform so we need uh, visual uh, microsoft uh, sorry mysql server version uh, for 32 bit okay so let's go to this link if you go to this link then it will uh, take you to the uh, download page for uh, MySQL uh, community uh, server version. Okay, 
so if you go here as you can see you have to download this this one okay so this one you just download this one and if you go ahead and click this one um, it will download so if you click uh, just no thanks just you don't need to you know log in or sign up just click on this it will download okay so after uh, uh, finishing download you will have this uh, g folder okay g folder of the mysql version so you need to extract this that folder okay so let's extract that folder it will take some time little bit a few seconds actually uh, so it's, it's extracting uh, by this time we can create a program okay create a project so let's go ahead and create a new project so after opening the visual studio you create a new project from here visual c plus plus win 32 console application and make sure you have you uh, actually storing or saving your file in, in in your intended uh, location like i'll save everything in my um, specific folder here okay so i'll select this folder and i'll create a project another folder uh, for saving this so let's say it's a demo okay and also this is cpp demo okay so so after this you hit on ok next you can keep it like this don't need to uh, do anything else here and as you can see uh, we need this uh, pre-compile header here okay so uh, uh, i'll not talk about this right now here so keep this one here and remove this one and i have a ready code c plus plus code right here so if i open with my notepad plus plus so this will be the code i'll i'll provide a link for this one in the description so let's copy this code and paste it here okay so as you can see there are so many errors in the code okay because it is actually asking for the supporting uh, libraries like the actual interface between the c plus plus uh, environment and uh, the the four functions i'm using from uh, from mysql server okay so uh, let's create the link using the interface so we have the server right here okay so after the um uh, after unzipping the folder so let's go ahead here click on this so we have include folder leave folder these are the two paths we have to select okay so this this is supported header files we need so mysql dot is dot h uh, is in this file which is actually included in, in in my program okay as you can see we need this and also uh we need uh, some libraries supporting libraries and this is the actual linker we have to use uh, so let's go ahead and do the setup Mm, click on project uh, cpp demo so project name properties go to properties click on this c plus plus general and uh, additional include libraries okay so additional include directories click edit click on this and browse that include folder okay so i have that include folder and in here after now we have the diff, uh, source code of uh, source code distribution of the mysql server so, so this is the include directory i have added okay and so that's done and you have to do two more things here so you need to add the additional libraries here okay so go ahead and click on this edit same thing go to that so previously we went to the leave folder uh, or include folder now we'll go to leave folder okay so this is the leave folder so that's the library path so all the library files are in this directory so let's do this and we need one more thing click on input okay and we have to add the library file externally okay 
So we have a library called lib my sql dot lib okay so that is in, in another same directory so if you go here so this is the library okay library file so i can just copy and paste right there or you can just type in here okay so now hit on okay so i have created the link as you can see all the errors are gone okay red marks are gone okay so one more thing you have to do is as you can see if you have debug so then when you created a full uh, project you must have a debug folder in there okay so if you have a release for example here you don't need to worry about um, uh, next step but if you have release initially beginning of the uh, project after creating the project you see if you select release then you don't need to go through the another step okay so if you have debug then you need the dll file okay so we have this dll file we have to copy this dll file and paste it to your project okay demo cpv demo and go to here okay let's see okay now let's, before that let's try to run this code first okay 